So another part of consistency. So first we have to have consistency with how we cue. So the actual cue itself, as well as the progression of pressure. I hope you guys can see that there. I'm trying to, uh, let's see. Cool. Okay. So that being said, um, how we cue is going to be the actual cue scheme. Okay. So this is going to be the scheme itself um, for action. Okay. So what are we physically going to be doing? The progression of pressure is how or you know what, I'm going to scratch that. We can put that as a pressure scale. Okay, now this, uh, the pressure scale is actually going to end up being more of a four beat count that I like to use. I like to do one and two and three and four. And I'm going to follow that same rhythm to guide me in when I should increase in pressure, okay? And I believe any horse, no matter what's going on between their ears, they can follow one and two and three and four and visualize, suggest, ask, and tell. Having a set equation or scheme of cues in order to uh, get whatever you're looking for, whether it be as simple as just walking forward, trotting, turning, loping, a spin, it could be a stop. You could use this stuff in any sort of maneuver. And this is real just horse psychology here. Okay, so if we, if I want to take this horse and I want to walk on right now, something as simple as a cue scheme, I know first I'm gonna look, second I'm going to click pluck two times because his feet are stopped. Then I'm going to add slight calf and then I'm going to start pushing my toes down in my stirrups and working on getting some heel and some spur. Ready guys? So I'm going to look, cluck, squeeze. There we go. And there we go. And he's walking forward. Now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do here is show you now my cue scheme in turning. Okay, so if I want my horse to come to the inside, the first thing that I do is I look this way, guys. Now, all I'm doing right now is looking and my horse is following me. Now, all that looking does is it's actually, so if I were to straighten my body here, let's see if the horse keeps going straight. There we go. So now I'm going to turn myself and see my whole body pivoted right here. And it actually put pressure on this side of the horse and the horse moves away from that pressure. Okay, now if I want him to turn even and sharper then I'm going to continue on in my cue scheme okay so then I might um, add a little bit of rain inside or just a neck rain and then if I want him to go even further then I might put my outside leg on him and eventually he's going to turn and then when he turns I let off of everything and this is actually how we get one to stay in a spin okay because now I'm not cueing him I have set and he is doing all the maintaining I can come back to neutral and he stops okay so I have a progression of cues here that I'm going to use in order to allow my horse to have maybe the benefit of the doubt and to be able to find out what I'm looking for with as little pressure as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead, look, squeeze, and my horse is off. And then I can come back to my neutral, which is my legs just hanging on his belly here, and my hand is in his mane.